Yo, what's going on guys? My best is here back with another video and today I'm going to be reviewing Huge Dipper, the big giga coaster we have in our world now. <clears throat> this thing <clears throat> is the biggest coaster in the park for now. I think I am going to be building something that's bigger. It's gonna be a strata, I think. But basically what you do like you're just going walking through you, this so this thing is 305 feet tall so five feet shorter than the gig coaster in my home park um cedar point millennium force and you just walk through the walkway go up the stairs into the station now the cars aren't supposed to be that short it's supposed to be longer but basically what you do hopefully they should launch when you're in them you go up the hill <coughs> Then try and get up there. Then you go down and you go up Airtime Hill. You go to the turnaround. Take a dip into a, two Airtime Hills through a tunnel with the launch. Then you go through the massive iconic Airtime Hill with the logo inside of it. Now I actually like that I did that because it's like lighting up too. And then I also did after that we have like a helix over around a fountain over water now th this is the feature i like about this because it just gives the coaster a lot of character then we come out of the helix come come over to this turnaround we go up the hill up on a hill down a hill up a hill down a hill up and then we hit the brakes and then we just go around into the station so without any further ado let's ride this bad boy I don't want to do that. And there we go. The coaster is started. <laughs> Alright, now we have the top. So you can see how tall this thing is. Like, it's humongous. And we're going down the huge drop that is, by the way, Nick's house. Going to the airtime hill. Now, there's a cool site I want to show you after this. It's up back by Iceberg, but... And there's the coach I've been working on. That's coming out today, and that's coming out today, the FGF. Nick's gonna explain that one. So here's the big airtime hill that I was talking about. And now we're just going up. <clears throat> go down uh, I'm gonna do a review on the drop tower too and there we go through the helix then we go down into this airtime hill down into this airtime hill and then we go up down into this airtime hill and then the brakes so let me just park this thing back into the garage or the station and then I will show you the view um so let me just first show you the drop zone drop tower. So this is a drop tower that I forgot how high it is. Hold on, let me count how many blocks high this is. Excuse me. Alright. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 
39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51 blocks tall. So multiply that by 5, and that is 250, 255 feet tall. So that is a tall drop tower. 255 feet tall. It's only 50 feet shorter than Big Huge Dipper. Anyway, that's the drop tower. Now, the view I want to show you guys so today. Um, you have to go on the stairs of Iceberg, and there. Oh, wait, no. Wrong stairs. These stairs. That's the iconic um, showing. Because you see the sign there, and the, you see the sign right there. And then you see the big hill right there. That's the big. That's the big sign. And then another iconic site. You're just going right by here, and then the coaster goes over the hill as you're walking by. Anyway, guys, that is going to be huge dipper. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like and comment down below if you want me to make a tutorial on a roller coaster. And um, but always, guys. Peace out.